Hey, this is Nick with another Builder Trend tutorial, and today this is a simple concept. We're talking about daily logs, but it's so, so powerful. If you haven't checked out the rest of the videos in the series, I encourage you to do that within the playlist. We're going through everything Builder Trend, and today we're going through a simple yet, I think, one of the most powerful features within Builder Trend. We're talking about daily logs, okay? Now, in terms of low hanging fruit and quick wins, I think daily logs is potentially the best thing you can get out of Builder Trend, maybe second only to the schedule but you should absolutely use daily logs. One thing I talk about all the time is that Builder Trend can do so, so much. You cannot possibly try to do it all at once. You want to start small. You want to start with something manageable, start with schedule, start with daily logs. We're going to talk about how amazing they are and again, how easy they are to implement as well. Let's talk about daily logs here and we're going to Tell the story with daily logs. That's how I like to think about it. Tell the story of your project, okay? So it provides a homeowner with a summary of the work and activity. That is certainly obvious and potentially intuitive, but one thing that's important here is to understand it doesn't only have to be days that you're working there, okay? One key is that we wanna keep our homeowners understanding what's going on with the project. What they might not understand is that there's some days where it's dead, right? It's dead because um, we're waiting on some materials or there's just a lag, we're waiting on countertops and there's no work to be done, okay? We wanna be able to tell them that there's no work being done, why that is so that they don't make up the story in their head. We wanna be able to control the narrative, control the story, tell them what is going on, communicate with daily logs. It allows for historical references. I can't tell you how many times I've gone back to a daily log to try to track down a purchase that was made or to try to look at a time clock and understand if it was billable, if it was added correctly thinking about decisions that were made as well, daily logs really enable us to keep that history and, and help us out when we're getting bogged down with all these different projects to find out what we did back in, in history. And lastly, it encourages accountability for our on-site resources. For those of you who have a project manager model or a lead carpenter model, and you want to have some accountability on the job site, it's really a great idea to assign a daily log to a lead carpenter, to a project manager. And I like to have a 100% compliance that we try to have a daily log on every single workday. Again, even if that means we weren't working. Okay, so lead carpenter is accountable to do it, but if they're not there because there's no work going on, they can either add it or a project manager, production manager, somebody has to add it so that we feel really confident that we have 100% daily log compliance. Okay, so that's the way that I do it. Let's get into Builder Trend. I'll show you what these are. So daily logs are really simple on the surface. Now, when I pull up the daily logs here, you are going to see a couple custom fields. I'm gonna talk about how custom fields are really useful. I'm gonna work on the left side here a little bit and then get into some other, other stuff on the right side. Let me go into a daily log that's already complete. And you can see that every daily log has a date, which is great, okay? So click into this. It's got a job assigned to it, of course, a date, and then potentially a title, okay? And I think that's a good practice to just kind of say generally what kind of day was this? In this case, it was concrete demo. We have tags as well that you can certainly use. I'm gonna talk about that in a second. We have some custom fields I'll reference in a bit. You have user permissions, who can see this, who can share it, okay? This daily log and whether or not we wanna notify users. I typically turn that off including weather conditions, that's a default for me, why not put that there? You could also add this to include weather notes, you can comment on it, communicate. And I also encourage that anytime we actually do work on a job and we issue a daily log, we should have pictures, okay? Every single time, we should tell our crew that when they're done with their work and they issue the daily log, include pictures so that we can reference it. The way that we work in our team is that we have you know five or six projects going on at a time myself and the management team, project manager, production manager are gonna meet every morning, review daily logs, and we're often looking at pictures. All right, they said that this was done. What does it actually look like? And um, so that's important. Fill out the notes, add pictures. All of that is really, really important, okay? Now, one thing that's relatively new to Build a Trend is all this related stuff, okay? So related to-dos, and this is a really good feature, meaning coming out of a daily log, coming out of a day's work, I can add a to-do that is then related to it. And see how I create that to-do and it brings in all that stuff from the daily log automatically. And I can say, um, ensure we have dumpster for concrete. Okay, we just did a bunch of concrete demo. And so let's make sure that we have a dumpster for the concrete and that's gonna be due. I can link it to a schedule item or just create a due date. We of course have our checklist and related items here. We'll have a separate video on to-dos. We won't get into it too much here, but the fact that we can have a to-do that is related to a daily log is really, really useful. So I save that and it sh shows up right here, okay? That's awesome. 
really, really useful. Now, custom fields is useful as well. So I have these custom fields here. And what I found to be really awesome within daily logs is we were struggling a little bit to have a place to store our meeting notes. Okay. Now I'm not talking about necessarily the documentation, the actual document, but how do we indicate that we had a meeting and see on a calendar that we had a meeting. And so we decided to come up with these custom fields where we can indicate that this daily log specifically relates to a meeting. Now in this example, that wouldn't really make sense. In this example, August 22nd, I did some work on the concrete. I could very easily have a daily log for the same date, which I don't think is a big issue to have two on one day. Okay, August 22nd, where it's a meeting. And during that meeting, it was a kitchen design meeting. Okay, so this is really a potentially useful thing. Okay, and, and this title becomes redundant. So maybe um, we would get rid of this field down here. I'm gonna show you that in a second, but we could save this as well. Okay, so I'm gonna talk about custom fields in a second. Um, you know, my meeting notes is reviewed. kitchen design. I can post the attachments of that there as well. Okay. So let me just stop for a second. Let's view this in a, two different places. One is on our calendar. So I'm going to open up the schedule here. Okay. And the other is on the homeowner site. Let's go to the homeowner site. Okay. So we can view what the homeowner sees here. Okay. And we can look at their daily logs. Okay. And they can see here the kitchen design meeting, concrete demos there as well. They can also uh, filter. Actually, I don't think they can filter. That's a huge bummer. So that customer is not able to filter on. Oh yeah, they are right here. Meeting right here, whether it's a meeting or not. Yes. Okay. So they can filter on meetings and they have a reference of all the meetings they had. Now we probably wouldn't include the weather on our meetings. Okay. But they can see it right here. All right. So that's super useful for them and for us. And then we can also look at, let's say a calendar and we can you know, add additional items onto it. So for example, I can go other items. Let's do daily logs and go back in time to where I know we have some. There's my daily logs right there. So here you can see the concrete demo and then the kitchen design. Now this project, it's an internal project for us. We're not working on it that much. That's why we don't have one every single day. If you were to see any of our other projects, we'd have absolutely five uh, going across the whole, the whole thing there. Okay. So it's really important, useful for us. Now let's talk about custom fields. Okay. So um, one thing that we can do is edit our custom field. So on this other screen here, I'm going to go into my settings and look at my daily logs. And within this, okay, I've got include weather conditions. That's my default. Include weather condition notes. That's not my default. Okay. Stamp location is probably a good idea. We can also default daily log notes. So I've seen some builders who are like, They'll do something like this where the user's got to replace it. Okay, so we're just kind of typing that through and then they can replace that stuff. I don't really like that because it tends to like not be used, but you could do that. Okay, our default sharing, our default notifications. Okay, now here down here is our custom field. So I have a checkbox for whether or not it's a meeting. And here include in filters is where for the customer, I'm able to allow them to filter that. And for myself, meeting notes, meeting topic, internal notes is a good one as well. So I don't use this too much, but sometimes our team has some important information that we want to put in the daily log, but for whatever reason, optics, it doesn't look great to the customer or they just, we just don't feel they need to know it yet. We'll put it in internal notes. So one example of this would be like, maybe the customer picks something out a tile. And then we, for whatever reason, we don't love it. It's just not going to work well. We might want to put that in internal notes to kind of escalate up to the management team so that the customer doesn't see that, but the management team knows. And maybe we deal with that situation delicately and say, Hey, listen, we have to revisit that tile selection. So we could maybe do that. So we have a internal notes, which is not um, shown to the owners. So when we create custom fields, we are telling the system, whether or not we want the owner to see it or not in this internal notes, we, we do not do that. Now, one idea too, when we're talking about meetings is potentially linking out to some other type of meeting notes or some other type of files. Okay. So we could in our daily log that has the meeting, we could upload a file here, a PDF or a word doc or anything like that. We could create one in builder trend as well, but you might already have a document management system that has some kind of link format. For example, Google docs, Google sheets, and so I can do something like this meeting notes and I can bring in um, 
whatever the case is, okay? We can create our notes there. I can share it. I'm gonna have a link here, okay? So I got my link copied. Um, let me just do this for anyone with a link. Okay, now one thing you can do is add a field to your daily logs that's like a link to meeting notes. Okay, data type is going to be a link. Link to meeting notes, Google Docs, etc. It's not required. Uh, I won't include it in my filters. Uh, display order, I'll just leave it at zero for now. I do wanna show the owners and allow permitted um, vendor to view and default link. I'm not gonna do that either. That would be something maybe that could go to a folder. That might be a good idea. So if you have a meeting folder, you can do that, but I'll just leave that blank for now. All right, so now if I refresh this, let's see if this comes up on this exact one here. Yep, link to meeting notes. I can paste in my meeting notes, save that. And now if I'm viewing this, I can click this to view the document. Okay, same thing with my customer. If they go in and say like, all right, hey, we're in kitchen meeting, excellent. Let me um, open up the notes and we can go there, okay? So it's super useful. We have the history, we have the related to-dos, and we're just telling the story of the project on a daily basis. I'm telling you right now, this information is invaluable and you can see how easy it is. Simply tell the story of what work was completed every single day. These take less than 30 seconds to create. It's a really good way to get your resources involved, get your employees, your lead carpenters involved to be executing this. And it goes such a long way with the customers. When we get, get feedback from our customers, what worked well, what didn't, what did you like about Builder Trend? Almost definitely they're gonna say, we like the daily logs, especially if a customer's out of town, they don't necessarily live there. And I think sometimes it's like, hey, you told us when you weren't gonna be there. Sometimes that's more important than telling us what we are doing, right? It's the inaction that they're gonna make up stories in their head about maybe, maybe they're working on a different project they don't care about us anymore. Will they ever even come back? If we can have a daily log that says, hey, listen, we're waiting on the countertop. It's coming on Wednesday, full, full force when they come back, we're in good shape. Okay, so definitely use daily logs. It's the easiest thing within Builder Trend to use. It's easier than a schedule. I would say the two of those together are the low hanging fruit that we should use together. All right, let me know your questions on this. Let me know your unique ways of using custom fields for daily logs as well. I'm always open to new suggestions and new ways of doing things. I'd love to hear what you're up to as well. And let me know what else you wanna see on Builder Trend. And I will certainly add it to the queue and post it. Until then, I will see you on the next video.